Hi Taurus, this is your November 22nd through November 28th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the six of wands, clarified by the ten of cups. We have the ace of wands, clarified by the king of wands. We have the two of cups. In the potential outcome, we have the devil with the lovers and the fool. And we also have the will of fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini. I love this spread, Taurus. I really do. It's like a perfect a combination of uh, passion and love. One thing I noticed about the spread, there's a lot of cards here with two people on them, right? We've got the lovers with the two people right there in the uh, potential outcome. We also have the devil right next to it, to the left, also with two people. We've got the two of cups in the middle and the ten of cups all the way to your left. There's two people, but there's also kids, right? So you're definitely going to pair up with a new person, with this King of Wands, uh, the fourth card from the left. The King of Wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this person has got a lot of fire in their chart, or they're just getting really fired up about you. And like I said, there's not only passion, there's not only fire, but there's a lot of love here. And this person is definitely at least your soulmate, at least your soulmate. And um, with the Devil card also being here, it kind of made me think of uh, what Oscar Wilde <laughs> once said. I can resist anything except temptation. And this person is going to be... There's just so much attraction here. You'll feel this unnatural pull towards this person. So what makes me think here with everything I just said is that the two of you definitely belong together. And uh, you will realize it. You'll feel it with your gut. You'll know it. You'll just know that this person is the one for you from the get-go. Speaking from, about the, from the get-go, the first card I came out is the Six of Wands and it's clarified by the Ten of Cups. We also have the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. Right? Like I said, you're probably dealing with that fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person is coming in. Um, they do want to have a brand new beginning. They're coming in with the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. And it's kind of symbolic that the person in the Six of Wands is holding up a wand. And it's and actually the King of Wands is holding up a wand. And I think that's exactly the one we see in the Ace of Wands. It's a brand spanking new beginning. The Six of Wands is a card of victory. Uh, this person is coming in, they're feeling great about this, they're feeling uh, like they have a victory in life now that you're in their life, right? And back in the day, the 601s used to be called the proposal card. And uh, the 601 is clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, all the way to your left, is uh, the happily ever after card. It's also a commitment or marriage card, it's a family card, um, so everything you ever wanted. <laughs> right? Um, we have the Two of Cups in the middle. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people being on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual. Right? In the, um, on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle. An amazing, fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune in my spreads is always good news. In the potential outcome, we have the Devil with the Lovers and the Fool. Um, every single card in the potential outcome is a major arcana card and whenever this happens in my spread, it's not really a potential outcome anymore. This is going to happen. So the devil is the personal uh, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or as I already uh, touched on it, it's all about the two of you kind of feeling glued to each other, feeling this unnatural pull towards each other, right? Um, you can't... You're not going to be able to resist this person, but it's not only about um, passion, it's about love. Then we have the Lovers. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Or the Lovers is a card of a choice. To be honest with you, I don't really see anybody hesitating, anybody choosing, but um, yeah, every relationship we get into, or pretty much all of them, starts with a choice, right? We do make a choice to get into it. The, besides that, the Lovers is also a soulmate card, just like the Two of Cups. 
The Lovers is also a Twin Flame connection card if you believe in Twin Flames. And the Lovers could simply be the love of your life. And I think that's the case here. Um, and uh, the very last card that came out is the Fool. The Fool is a card of a brand new beginning. It'll feel, it'll be an easy decision for you, Taurus. A very easy decision for you to move forward with this person. You're not going to think twice, that's what I'm thinking. Because of this, um, it's just going to overwhelm you a little bit, to be honest with you, Taurus. Prepare yourself to be overwhelmed, but at the same time, it'll feel great. There's going to be a lot of love, a lot of passion, and uh, you'll feel... Uh, by taking a plunge with this person is the right thing to do because uh, they are at least at least your soulmate really happy for you Taurus congratulations Taurus if you are already married or if you're in a relationship this spread is for you we have uh, the Knight of Swords clarified by the Queen of Swords we have the Sun we have the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Fool and we also have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an air sign um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, you could also be dealing with uh, Cancer. I see travel here, Taurus. Um, I don't know who this Queen of Swords is, the first card that came out. Um, most likely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be um, your mother-in-law <laughs> um, showing up and staying with you. Um, or it could be somebody showing up and staying with you, a friend, a family member, you know. Um, or it could be you making a decision to go travel uh, this week. We do have Thanksgiving here in the States. So, like I said, there's definitely movement here. There's definitely travel here. You could be traveling with friends. You could be traveling with ex an extended family. Something along those lines, right? So, the Knight of Swords, the first card that came out, um, it could be an air sign, right? Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Swords, which is also an air sign. Um, but the Knight of Swords could also represent travel, right? Um, we also have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Chariot is the personal Cancer card. You could be dealing with a Cancer or it is a travel card, right? The Sun in the middle is um, the happiest card in the deck. It's also, if it is travel, you could be traveling someplace warm or you're just happy about the fact that you're going someplace or somebody is coming over to stay with you. Then the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Fool. You know, the Six of Pentacles is all about balance, right? So perhaps if you have more people staying at your house than usual, then you'll have to rearrange things and the other way around if you're going someplace. Or the Six of Pentacles could be, um, you know, you paying for this trip. Perhaps this is an unexpected trip because the Knight of Swords could be about something unexpected, right? It could be a bit spontaneous, especially with the Fool card clarifying uh, the Six of Pentacles. The Fool could be about something spontaneous, right? Um, so, yeah, it, it, even, even if it is uh, an unexpected visitor or if the, it is unexpected travel that you'll have to pay for, I do see you being really happy about it with the Sun card, all right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have Justice, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Two of Cups, and we have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Cancer, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Somebody here really wants you back because they are madly, deeply in love with you. Perhaps this time apart from each other made them realize that. There's lots and lots of love here. So, the Eight of Cups, the first card that came out in this spread, this card is about somebody coming back from the past. It's clarified by the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about love. Genuine, authentic love. Then we have Justice, clarified by the Page of Cups. Justice is the personal Libra card. You could be dealing with a Libra. But both cards often come through as a cards of apologies, right? The Page of Cups is, um, I guess, a regular apology. And Justice, if it is an apology card, then it's a major, major apology. So this person is really sorry for what they did. And uh, like I said, they realized that they can't live without you. Then we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. And uh, we have the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. The Chariot is, a, is the personal um, Cancer card. You could be dealing with the Cancer. Or the Chariot is all about moving forward. Uh, the Chariot is a victory card. So they hope for a victory together with you. And they do hope to move forward with you. 
um, basically uh, pick up where the two of you left off. Um, I don't know what you're gonna do, Taurus, but uh, there's, there's just... they're outpouring love. There's just so much love here with the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Alright, so just keep that in mind, Taurus. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Taurus, this week. We have uh, the Ten of Wands, we have the Fool, clarified by the King of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, um, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, I can interpret the spread a couple of different ways. Uh, scenario number one, um, you're not working this week, you're taking some time off, again, perhaps due to the Thanksgiving here in the States. Right, but some of you who are living in other countries, you could still be taking some time off to spend it with your family, right? Um, and uh, scenario number two, you could be um, getting into some sort of a partnership with somebody here, and uh, this person is going to be on the same page with you. The two of you vibe on the same level because we do have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here, right? And uh, the King of Pentacles is clarifying the Fool. The Fool is a new beginning. Right, that could potentially lead, lead to uh, financial abundance. The Ten of Pentacles, right next to the deck, um, <clears throat> it is a family card, but at the same time, it's also a financial abundance when it comes to work, business, and finances. Right, the Ten of Wands, the first card that came out in scenario number one, it could play out as you've been working hard up until now, and now you're dropping this burden because you're taking some time off with the full card. Or in scenario number two, the ten of ones, um, you, if you are getting into some sort of a partnership um, or an alliance, or you're signing some sort of an agreement agreement with another person, you do realize it's going to be a burden with the ten of ones. You'll have to work your butt off, but eventually it will lead to that ten of pentacles. Eventually it will pay off, and uh, you'll cash in on this adventure. Uh, either way, it is a great spread. It is a great spread. There's definitely someone here who is on the same page with you, or it could be your significant other, right? And uh, since the Ten of Pentacles came out last, like I said, this is either your family that is very stable, very grounded, secure, or it is a, it is a, a, a very decent chunk of change coming your way. <laughs> All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen to us this week. We have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. What you're not expecting is this King of Cups show up and uh, actually give you something. <laughs> you know, it's just, it could be as simple as that. Um, I don't know what happened between the two of you, but um, the King of Cups is clarifying the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who is uh, really stressed out, somebody who can't sleep at night, somebody who's got anxieties. So again, this is the way this person is feeling. And uh, this person could be your ex, it could be somebody uh, who is admiring you from a distance. It feels kind of different from every other energy. I felt during all other spreads. So this is somebody else. This is a different person. Right? So, but uh, like I said, the key here is that this person is really stressed out right now and uh, they just can't sleep at night and they want to come towards you, perhaps confess you, confess about something or actually offer you something with the Page of Pentacles. Because the Page of Pentacles is something tangible, something you can touch and that's what they're bringing with them. With them. Right, and uh, you are in this uh, spread twice, Taurus. The Queen of Pentacles, that is definitely you. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck, that is also your personal card, your major arcana card. Right, so what you're not expecting is this King of Cups show up and, uh, like I said, give you something. All of, and all of that is because they, are, they can't sleep at night, they're stressed out about something. You can always leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out with you, what your connection, what your relationship to this King of Cups is. I'm kind of curious myself. And uh, that's what I got for you, Taurus, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share, share and subscribe. And other than that, Taurus, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.